With only two weeks to go before the Olympia, top-tier bodybuilding competitor Victor Martinez travels to the Chelsea section of New York City in order to train at Steel Gym with his longtime trainer and friend, Victor Munoz. For his Arnold Classic preparation earlier this year, Victor had been training with another high-profile guru, Oscar Arden. But the commute from New Jersey to Oscar's private gym in Brooklyn became too time-consuming to maintain. And so Martinez turned to an old friend in order to get ready for the biggest competition in bodybuilding. I've been training him for 14 years, so he knows already, and I know already, what, what he likes, what works best for him. I can see him already, his attitude, how he feels, the energetic. The way he moves is more cat-like, so he's more, I think he's, he's going to definitely make a big impact on his Olympia. Despite his satisfaction with Victor's newfound energies, Munoz is confronted tonight with a Martinez who is struggling through his workout. He can't seem to lift his usual heavy weights, and he asks to avoid certain exercises. Dean, I, I remember. I can, I can feel him already. And I don't, I, don't get to, I don't get to do what I want to do. This is the thing I get frustrated. Yesterday, I was going to tell him to jump off the building. Up a little bit. The deprivation and difficulties of diet and training this close to the show are catching up with him. That's understandable and normal. So it is Munoz's job to compensate for that and keep Victor on track. Okay, hype him up a little bit. How much more, how much more you got to go? How much? Yeah, I just... No, saying, like, just now, I, won't be, I won't be able to give him eight clamps, man. Okay. Yeah. What are you doing? You know, hype him up a little bit. Let's go, Big Big! I can't help but notice that what I'm seeing tonight is very different from my previous shoulder training video with Martinez and John DeLaRosa from several weeks ago, in which John was the depleted one, hanging on by sheer willpower. Now it's Victor's turn, and just as John was lucky to have Victor to egg him on, this time Victor is lucky to have Munoz. A lot of stuff I want him to do, but I know he won't do it now. Yeah, yesterday night, you know, he was good. He did cardio, and this morning did cardio. And not every day I can take what I want out of him either. So I gotta see what I can, he can give me, and then I use that. He still got a great workout. I mean, you saw how he, he just blew up. Munoz knows that he needs to push Victor to dig deep. With the Olympia this close, he can't let up. And tonight, he succeeds in coaxing one last burst of energy out of his athlete. Awesome. That back look ridiculous. The back look like this. Throughout the workout, Victor Munoz has been improvising with a sensitivity to the depletion of his client and an awareness of the caliber of physiques that Martinez will be up against in Las Vegas. He knows that in this game, you have to relentlessly adapt to the circumstances in order to survive. Victor Martinez certainly knows his way around a gym, but it's at moments like these that we see the necessity for even an athlete at the top of his game to have a trusted someone to give an outside opinion a fresh perspective, and sometimes a kick in the pants.
As Guy Green sometimes says, every day isn't a sunny day. And although we would have liked to have gotten a powerful workout on tape, I feel that seeing a world caliber athlete on a bad day is often more illuminating than watching him throw the weights around when he's feeling good. Adapt and survive. Victor Martinez has been doing that his entire career. No one can deny that he is a survivor, but on September 17th, we'll see if this time he can finally capture that elusive Sandow. To get instant notifications of these and all of MHP's contests, supplement specials, and training videos, join us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Who has the best six-pack in bodybuilding? MHP does with its new sugar-free, low-carb, ready-to-eat power pack protein pudding. Do I really want this thing? Is this really a protein bar or a candy bar? I mean, all the sugar in here, what I really want is power pack pudding. Mmm, tastes great. 30 grams of protein, zero sugars, low carbs, my kind of snack. You want the best six pack in bodybuilding? MHP's ready to eat power pack pudding.